Hi everyone, it's Elsie here and I'm really excited to be sharing my first layout with the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the August 2017 main kit which um, I'm just going to quickly flick through here to show you. It has a lot of Maggie Holmes carousel in it and um, those exclusive wood buttons and oh, the ephemera pack and it has the most gorgeous exclusive alpha as well so yeah I'm really really excited to uh, be part of the team and be using the kits each month. So yeah, f as I said for today, I'm only using the main kit and one thing I really love about hip kit is that each month there's so much choice from what kits or kit you want to get. Um, and But it's just nice to be able to see if you can't for whatever reason or you don't want all of the kits or um, you know, you only want the main kit it's nice to be able to see what you can do with it so that's what I'm doing today and yes as you can see I'm cutting out squares of pattern paper and my favourite embellishment to use in any collection um, or in any collection and kit is pattern paper I just I love it um, but it kind of kills me to cover up one side um, and then you know use one side and then you can't see the other so I thought okay let's figure out a way where I can use um, both sides of the paper and I thought these pinwheels would be a really fun um, and easy, very very easy way to um, see both sides of the paper and also use those exclusive wood buttons that I showed you a minute ago. So I'm sure you all know how to make these um, they're really really easy all you do is cut a square piece of paper at any size you want and then kind of cut from each corner to the center but not all the way and then you just fold each alternating corner down and voila you've got a pinwheel I went to glue mine at first and then I um, stapled it it's just easier and I didn't have to wait for the glue to dry and all the staples are covered up as well by the wood buttons so yeah that's what I'm doing um, I ended up making loads because um, I couldn't decide what patterns I wanted to use um, so I ended up just making a lot of them <laughs> and then deciding so yeah and even though it looks like I used a lot of paper I really really didn't um, which is good because I need to savour all the Maggie Holmes as much as I can <laughs> and yeah, you also got to be quite conscious of which patterns um, you want to show off more because there is kind of like the inside of the little um, wings, wheels, you can obviously see more pattern. Um, so yeah, you just end up, um, yeah, make sure whatever side you stick glue down is the kind of side you want to show the least of. Um, I hope that makes sense <laughs> and yeah these wood buttons are so gorgeous um, they're exclusive and yeah they just work perfectly in the center of those pinwheels and yeah I'm <laughs> using two bits of adhesive because um, or three actually because there's adhesive on the buttons and then I use double-sided tape and then wet glue so um, they ain't coming off anytime soon <laughs> and yeah, I just made sure that I used kind of um, contrasting colours to the pattern paper um, so they would really pop and I'd get that kind of um, mismatched whimsical thing. Um, like I absolutely love that black and white stripe in the star pinwheel that I just stuck down. I absolutely love that. Yeah, so they're just really cute and really easy and yeah these wood buttons I love them but I find them really difficult to use like I just can't I don't know why I just have a total mind block whenever I try and use stuff like that where I just like can't work out how to fit it in onto my page um but yeah with these it's just it looks like it was meant to be <laughs> so of course I'm using clouds um it's me <laughs> and yeah I absolutely love the way clouds look so I just cut a load of them out um and stitched around them and I'm kind of going to use that as my base for embellishing and yeah where the pinwheels are going to go and I thought that would work really well because 
like I love the way pinwheels look when they like blow in the breeze so um yeah the clouds kind of go with that um I can't remember how many I actually ended up using on this page I think I maybe only used three of the pinwheels but that's fine um I'll save them for save the ones I didn't use for another project or I might just put them up on my wall because I love them so much <laughs> um and yeah I was kind of deciding what I wanted to how I wanted to embellish the rest of the page and there's a paper in the collection um or in the kit that's got all those beautiful black and white florals and they're really easy to fussy cut so of course I did that and yeah I just like the way the black and white looks um against colour because it just really makes the colours pop um and yeah because the pinwheels are kind of the stars of the page I wanted to make sure that they were kind of um the main the focus really so I kind of put them in three points um around the page two are like next to my photo so that really like draws your eye into the photo um and then that cute little yellow one is just in the corner and that's going to be where like a lot of embellishment embellishing happens <laughs> so yeah i'm just gluing everything down um i put quite a lot up on some foam um i just like the shadow that gives and that little circus tent I absolutely love that's from the ephemera back and I just love that it's black and white and it looks really cute and it just kind of adds to that kind of um, whimsical like fun fair carnival theme in the collection and also those kites as well they were fussy cut out from another one of the Maggie Holmes papers absolutely love them um, I just think they're so cute so yeah I just scattered a few of them around the page just to give the idea of you know sky and air and that all that good stuff <laughs> um so yeah I was really indecisive with this page and I don't know why I don't know if it's because my it was my first layout with hip kit or what but anyway it's very very indecisive and I really wanted to use that ribbon um are they epoxy or are they like puffy um those thicker phrase things from maggie holmes um which on them they says crick <laughs> they're called crick but i think it's a typo i think it's supposed to, supposed to say cirque like you know cirque du soleil or whatever it's called um i assume it's meant to call that because i don't know what crick means so <laughs> um yeah they're lovely as well just so much color and I love the titles in the collection it's got all those like um titles that are in like the shape of ribbons um yeah it's just really cute and yeah as soon as I put that like the tent the black and white tent up on the left side it just fit there um, my original plan was to have it like next to my photo but it just looked I don't know it's too weird I found like too, there was too much black and white and not enough colour so it was just trying to get that balance really and I took a million photos of my layout to decide where I wanted everything to go um, like I literally took loads um, but yeah it's fine that's how I can kind of visualise things because it kind of gives me a, like a more objective perspective I think um, when I'm making things so yeah I moved that yellow kite as well over to the left side I felt like that just kind of balanced everything out a bit more um, yeah because I kind of I always think in terms of a diagonal or a triangle um, when I'm designing so like um, it kind of it gives a bit of breathing room on a page because um, it's quite tempting just to throw everything onto the page <laughs> um, but yeah yeah that, I just like the way that yellow flag looked um, tucked underneath that little cloud so yeah I'm also really sorry about the lighting in this video I was having massive problems the day I filmed this it was storming 
but it was like it kept going like sunny and then rain <laughs> and then you know so it's really hard to kind of balance everything out but I hope it's not too annoying for you um, I'm gonna try and get some sort of light solution um, figure out lighting without having to get like studio lights because I don't have anywhere to put them <laughs> so um, yeah hopefully I'll get that sorted out as soon as possible and then there was a f an ephemera piece that was that yay and it was kind of like perforated and it was quite large and chunky and I would never use it as like a solid piece so I just cut fussy cut the yay bit out and I thought I was going to use that as my title um, but I don't because it was black and white and I'm struggling with it so um, I'll save it for another another page um, I really like the way it looks so and then I really wanted to use that little ticket booth ephemera piece girl or the ice cream because I absolutely love those I just think they're so adorable but um, again it just made it too busy so yeah that's pretty much it um, I off camera I just need to turn the camera off and just think about it for a minute and I just added a couple more kites in to fill out that middle bit that was giving me a load of hassle um, that's a nice way of putting it <laughs> and yeah you'll see here what I did to change it so it's not much I added a few more of the puffy hearts um, just for extra pops of colour and yeah that's everything so thank you so much for watching I'll be back on Thursday with another hip kit layout for you and yeah I'll see you then thanks for watching guys bye